Good, how you doing, mate? Great, yourself? Yes, good, mate. Um, very excited about this. I've Thanks had a lot much. of folk. I seen you on Go Radio, and then I started looking at your page and that, and I'd then kind of put a couple of feels out folk are like, get him on. This is this is totally different for what you speak to and people you do in different industries, but. How does somebody get into the world of making action figures? Because when I think about it, I think of these big companies and shops all the world and you're just one guy doing it yourself, just, just right in there. How how does it come about? I feel my, feel my living room. Um, <laughs> well, it was there forever for me. You know, when I was away, um, toys were uh, an escapism. You know, the, the house wasn't the, the easiest to, to live in. You know, I was the youngest and you'd brothers above you who were fucking mental so um it was a big escapism and at, at that point obviously figures were a, a huge deal it was the late 70s early 80s so it was massive i mean the way i get into it is is literally that mm -hmm. it was just from childhood it was it was um i mean it's just it's a nostalgia thing it just takes you back right. as soon as you see something if you make something that kind of looks retro for me anyway what i get out of it is when I'm making it and I've, I've, I've got it in my hands and I go, all oh, right, I really like that. I'm on to the next. I'm on to the next. I'm constantly looking for that same feeling that I got mm -hmm. when I was a kid yeah. looking at the figures. Yeah. And I want them to look like that. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? Aye. I don't want them to look like exactly like them because that just, I just, that's for other people today, you know, and, and, and it has got its place, as, as I've said so many times. I don't, I don't really want to do that. Aye. You're looking for that kind of feeling. I I remember when I was younger and used to get a WWF figures and you'd get it in the package and you'd go down to, you used to go to a shop in the Barris and it was <laughs> like a fiver, which was a lot of money. Okay, and right. the, your grand like, ah, you're a fiver, pick one and you're surrounded with about 800 figures and you're like, how do I do a pick one? It's like a variety pack. Hi. Um, But you're getting that same buzz for people because when I'm looking at your figures, I'm like, fuck's sake. Hmm. You just get that kind of, there was just as you say that there was a guy i knew when i was young who uh was a thief right he was a fucking thief right. so basically what happened was the action force figures came out the ones that have got all the articulation but they're the same size of the the mm. 3.75 so they're the same size as star wars stuff but anyway there was a shop in quite bank called john menzies at the time he went in and there were everywhere these figures right and i would go to his house and he's oh, i've got this one to do this one to do that one I moaned at my mom for fucking ages. Do you think that I could get one of these figures? Do you think I could get one of these figures? Anyway, she says to me, right, her, the job that she had was, was fucking tragic and she had four boys to look after. She was skint. Mm -hmm. I still moaned, can you get me this figure? I was totally obsessed Aye. with these things, right? And she went, look, when I get my holiday pay, <laughs> <laughs> when I get my holiday pay, <laughs> I'm going to get you one of these fucking figures to <laughs> shut you up, right? So I went, right, that's brilliant. That wasn't enough for me. Right. Right. I feel bad about it now. And it just came to me as you said that. But when we were in the show, I'd picked this this figure and uh, I fucking stole one and get caught. Mm. It's the worst feeling that I've ever had in my life mm. to this day. I'm like, ah, why the fuck did I do? It was causing that wee bastard. <laughs> he had fucking tons of them. He had maybe, I don't know, 18. Right? He's like, ah, oh, it's just a couple of spare ones. I was like, ah, a couple of fucking spare ones, is it? I, <laughs> is it? You know? So, I that was... But, by the way, I've actually got... See that figure? Mm -hmm. I don't still have that figure, but I re-bought it. Every right. time I look at the, 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 the torso, I think. <laughs> and she took it off me. She took the figure off me, and it oh. sat up in the mantelpiece. That's even worse. Ah, like, she was, she was <laughs> like, ah. Yeah, you, fucking, you know, that kind of thing. It was terrible. It was terrible, man. <laughs> But thanks for bringing that that memory back to me. <laughs> yeah. oh, fucking. Well, at least it, maybe if you hadn't get caught, it'd have turned out totally different. I'd have been. Could have been a blessing. It was better that I get caught. Do you know what probably done it? See the fact that I hovered round about the fucking figure aisle for about 30 <laughs> minutes. Like, the only thing it was missing was a fucking trench coat. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> we woman's probably sitting watching you for 20 they minutes were. like come on of course on they were oh, fuckers man we guy came up to her and had um really cool adidas on right so right. it must have been about 1986 right, right. Like, fucking tash all right wee man what are you doing i was like uh eh, just looking at his like, ah. he just took my uh it was in my joke 
<laughs> I'm going into the back and my father's like, fucking. That's what's worse about, isn't it? The fear of what your mom's going to say. Christ. Honestly, mate, I think it's like, it was almost like I'd killed somebody. Right. I've never felt so bad in all my life since. Honestly, it was terrible. Kill my reputation, mate. That's what, that's what causes it. That's where the anger comes through. I know it does. Fucking too right. <laughs> <laughs> How does it go from there then to what point do you get to when you're like, I'm going to have a bash at this. I'm going to try and do it myself. So, I mean, there, there's a bit of a story, really. My my older brother, who was four years above me, he died, right? He died in 2012 and he was only 38. Mm -hmm. All the way through my life, he was extremely creative. He's the guy that switched me on to anything creative, just had a knack to be able to do things. He could draw really well from a really early age. Right. So I was, what, four, the first time I remember being amazed by what he was doing. He was drawing something. Like I say, we'd fuck all, nothing. Mm -hmm. So we had a, we had a bit of paper. In fact, do you know what it was? He was, he was drawing on the back of an old bit of um, wallpaper. Right. And that was like a canvas. And he mm -hmm. was telling me, this is like a canvas. And he was eight. Aye. This is like a canvas, you know. And he drew this circle, which looked pretty hairy, but he was showing me points of light. Right. How the fuck did you know? How do you know how to do Aye. that? Like, what are you doing? So I was like, ah, right, I, mate, I know what you're saying. So he's like, basically, going through all this stuff. And he's like, I, I uh, like I say, we'd fuck all, we didn't have any figures, but we knew people that we, he could borrow them after. Right. And just no gearing them back. So that's kind of, that's kind of how it, how it started. Um, but he made, uh, like I say, we were totally rooked all mm -hmm. the time. My mom had this soap and it was uh, Imperial Leather. And uh <laughs> heavy sticker. Heavy fucking sticker, eh? <laughs> which I try to steal a lot of the time. <clears throat> so anyway, we had these wee tiny figures, metal ones, and he put it right into the figure and he went like, wait, you see this, and he left it for about half an hour. Right. And it was this perfect impression of this iron eagle, eagle, action eagle or something right. like that they were called or shite. And um he, he poured glue, PVA glue into it. Right. And he went, wait, you see this. I don't know how he knew right. how he did it. And it was like a ghost figure. It was, mm. wasn't he very, it was fairly fucking bits, but he opened it up and it was just like this wee, it looked like a ghost. And I was like, wow. Mind blown. How do you know even, how do you know how to do that? Mm. It was all that, all the all way right. through my life. How do you know mm -hmm. how, how to do that? So he went like, we'll have a rain. We'll do a rain. We'll make it rain. Right. You can come up with good ideas. See, I was an ideas person. Right. Even at that age, I could right. come up with ideas. He was a kind of, you need to guide them, right, okay. guide them into it. And um, but he's like that to me. He says, "I we could we could do that." And we had this toy cupboard in the in the hall. It was great. It, we used to go in there all the time, just play with figures and stuff. And he says, "I it's going to be called Stephen and David's Toy Cupboard." And I was just even now it's just like such a cool name, you right. know, for us anyway. And um, that was it. So that went away because we all learned different things like music, and all this kind Aye. of stuff. He was still doing the art, which he just completely took any stride as if right. it was the fucking easiest thing in the world today uh, just to natural. draw a portrait at 12 years of age and the fucking wee thing in the eye and all that, you know, like the, the, the wee sort of highlights right. and stuff. Oh, well, no bother. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking no bother. I'm sitting there, this wee grubby guy like that. Can I come in? <laughs> so, but, but that's basically what happened. Um, it was just there all the way through. And when he died, I was talking to somebody. I bumped into them in the street and I just says, he's like, oh, he was a mad guy, wasn't he? And I says, I was fucking, he was mental. Um, I says, but, I says, one time he had this thing with the soap and then I stopped in the middle of it and I went, it's not a bad idea, that. No. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to make, that's a great idea. I'm going to make a figure of him. Right. As a wee tribute. I'll just make this wee figure no. and we'll see how it goes. Right. And, and just try and, I don't know, Fucking just see how it goes. Aye. So what I did was I just uh, looked into it and get neighbour. Right. <laughs> so I just was like, nah, fuck this. I'm just gonna just gonna leave this. So this is when he died. That was 2012. Mm -hmm. Um, I was about to have my son in 2012. So I just, as MD knows, it's good wins. You're just gonna constantly um, focus on them. Right. Um, so that's what I did. I just focused on him. Mm -hmm. All the way through and eventually just kept coming back and kept coming back until eventually you know i started to try and research it on google um and still didn't get anywhere how do you even 
because it's hard enough when you're looking for figures like a specific figure or a, a kind of a niche thing to find. Where do you even begin for research? And oh, well, start, that's start for making it because it must be. I'd imagine the people that do do it keep their kind of cards close to their chest about how they do it. I don't know why they do that. The gatekeepers, you mean? Aye, they are fucking just. I just stop doing it. Mm -hmm. right just stop doing it just help people when they're asking you for help just fucking go for it and Aye. you know because their figures might be absolutely dynamite they might be amazing Aye. um but i it's it's really difficult to be honest um what was the question yeah so when you're you're trying to research it i sorry how do you <coughs> then because if you're mm -hmm. looking at it, it's just a brick wall and you can't find right. it. And where do you go for there? Well, I couldn't figure out what the bubble was called. Right. The, the, the action figure blister. Mm -hmm. Blister, it's called. Right. right. So I'm searching, what is the plastic thing that goes around a figure? If somebody had saw my history at that point, mm -hmm. it would have been a fucking comic book. It would have been <laughs> so amazingly funny. What's the wee Rooney thing <laughs> that goes around the figure that sits and... All that sort of stuff, Aye. but I had no nae, nae way of researching, um, to be really honest, because at that point we, we Google it was nae. I didn't realise that all I had to do was type in bootleg action figures, and you'd want to watch. So bootleg action figures, just search for that. If you want to make figures, look at that, and then enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> so what was the first, what was the first one you done? First figure I made, I was trying to make my, my brother at that mm -hmm. point once I figured out what, what it is that he did. And I just, I felt to myself, um, it was tragic how he died. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I felt that if I'd done that, I would, if I'd completed that, I would have somehow shut the door on him. Right. If that makes sense. I like closed the, the story. That's it. Uh -huh. I, and I thought, I don't want to do that. I'll put that on the back burner. Right. And it's still on the back still burner. Right? right. So if okay. I do that, that's the end. Right, okay. That's that for me. I'll just yeah. go, no, nah, I don't want to do it. So I'd made, um, I got a lot of parts together and I knew that the, the card art would be dead easy for me mm -hmm. because I had the background in Photoshop, photography, making fucking, just making bits and bobs. Right. And posters, film posters and stuff. I knew it'd be dead easy. So I was in the middle of watching, uh, just, just going through all these parts that I'd accumulated and I was watching the film Jewel, the... Steven Spielberg first film mm -hmm. and I thought and right away just as I was watching this film I just there was one of the heads that looked up at me and it was it was a wee guy for Star Wars it was a moustache I can't remember his name but it was you know, an X-wing mm -hmm. or a flyer drive or whatever you call them and I thought ah oh, nice and then there's just this guy that had an open shirt so I started I uh, got I, I researched uh, sculpt stuff you mm -hmm. know like uh, clay uh, and I just managed to, I don't know how I done it, but I just made a wee, uh, like, tie, put his head on, put it all together, painted it, managed to get the blister sorted it, which took ages to come, because you're getting them from America, six weeks for them to come. Right. So, um, they just don't do them here. At all? They just don't. At all. Untapped resource. Aye. Somebody should be doing them, but you need, like, a vacuum forming machine and stuff like that. Ah, right, I would date okay. myself, but it's, the amount is incredible. It's a huge industrial machine. Right. So, but aye, that was the first one. That was the very first one. As soon as I'd done it, then I moved out to Instagram, because mm -hmm. I had no idea about Instagram, no right. idea. And I just put it on Instagram, and I, I just learned about what hashtags were. Right. And I put in action figures. But while I was typing that in, it came up bootleg action figure. Right, okay. I went bootleg action figure. What's that? So I scrubbed it and went and started looking at bootlegs. And I was like, fucking hell. The floodgates opened right up on the very first figure. Right. So I'd been sitting there playing with my tits <laughs> for fucking months, going, what is it? I'm, what, 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 what do I do here? Aye. And oh, it was actually there in front of me because <laughs> everybody in America was fucking, was doing it. <clears throat> so there's a big market out there for it then? I would say that's probably about 80 or uh, maybe 90% of what, right. where I work. Uh, right. So, but as soon as I put that on, um, that was it. Aye, Literally social, first one. Social media just, well there's, there's so many people that are obsessed with that nostalgia that that's you're it. talking about and finding something that Aye. not a lot of other people have got and something that reminds them of a, a moment in their life or a 
anything I talk could be something I've watched on the telly or a film we watched as a kid. That's it. The people, I mean, people will contact you and, and ask you for some sort of crazy figures. Um, I mean, I was a guy last night. Yeah, you, you, would you be able to make me a Tommy <coughs> Morrison figure? You know, the the, you know, the boxer for Rocky Five. <laughs> what a fucking strange thing to ask me. Well, I mean, you could have asked me for anybody, and you're asking me for Tommy fucking Morrison. What are you talking about? <laughs> so I just was like, uh, come back to you. I can't really, can't really process what you've just said to me. <laughs> you know, it was like that kind of thing. Um, but I mean, if he wants it, I'll get it, I guess. But what I'm saying is it's just a strange thing to be asked. Right. You know, you, you get asked for a lot of strange things. You know, can you can you do Donald Trump with no no trousers on? <laughs> you know, like, no, mate. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Could you do and, and you get asked for some really offensive ones, which I'm not even gonna talk about. Right. But um when you see these ones, you're just like, Oh no, no. I like you try and keep it like when I was a kid, you wouldn't have had fucking donald trump you know you wouldn't have had that kind of uh, you're trying you're thinking about yourself <clears> as well because you you put one wrong move out in social media and fucked. aye it's I so difficult I, so, aye. I mean i day put out strange figures every now and then aye. which you've probably seen but i try and keep it quite light aye you know aye. Um, but what's light these days very true mate very true do you remember the first sale like the first yeah physical purchase aye what I remember all of them. What figure was it? What was your first one? It was Jewel. Oh, was it? Aye. So I'd made Jewel, and then as I was making that, uh, I was right into, oh, I love dry humour, like mm -hmm. really dry humour. So I was watching Airplane. Right. And Dr. Romack, you know, the, um, Leslie Nielsen. Um, I made him in seconds, and I put the two of them out. Right. And I got an email straight away for Adam Goldberg. Please. with the Goldbergs Aye. and I was like I, I didn't have a clue who he was right I did not know I did not watch the I'd been watching it two nights before <laughs> right but the weird thing is I was designing the cards and I was thinking what can I put on the front here I want to put something on it like Aye. wee price tags if Aye. you look closely you'll be able to see those wee strange price tags on them so I'm sitting there for ages going there was a shop in Clyde Bank called the Goldbergs Right, mm -hmm. or Goldbergs, no, the Goldbergs, Goldbergs, and it did woman's clays. Oh, like the big department store, wasn't it? it? No, I remember. <clears throat> and I remember. we used to get things like Mr. T jewelry in there. Right. Right, Mr. T jewelry, which my brother added to, you know, he right. would customise it, you know, and put all this fucking horrific shit on it, you know. <laughs> oh, fucking, my granny's all rings and all that. <laughs> and uh, so, fucking hell, that crazy bastard. So I, um, I was trying to make this price tag. Right. Goldbergs. Uh-huh. Goldbergs. And then this guy contacts me. Literally, I'm sitting in my work. I, you know, I was working in the bank, and I'm sitting there going like that. I'm not really meant to be looking at your phone. Aye. No, I'm still no whatever. Anyway, so I was like, ah. and it was this, this message came up. Hi, my name's uh, Adam Goldberg. Uh, I've got a show in America. Mm -hmm. I'd really like really love your figures i would really like to take them um so that i can maybe put them on my show do you know what i was thinking i was thinking right this guy's got a show on youtube right that's what i was thinking Aye. everybody's got a show in america Aye. haven't they really even Aye. the dogs have got a fucking show Aye. so i was thinking right uh nah here's what i was thinking no i'm actually this is what i said to him mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> fuck i went like that to him actually i'm going to put these on ebay what the fuck? I must have been looking into the research <laughs> thing and going, these people are putting these right. a lot of money for them. Right. You know, I had about fucking three followers. <laughs> but who who the fuck is going to even look? Who's going to even know what the fuck I'm doing? So I was like, ah, yeah. I got back to him and I went like, ah, I says, eh. and he says, Google Goldbergs. And I did. Right. Like, fucking hell. I was watching that the other night with Wayne. And it reminded me of the Wonder Years. Mm -hmm. Love the Wonder Years. Aye. A big fan of that show. I loved it. I was the same age as them, and it it was all the sort of same stuff that you're going through as a teenager. Mm -hmm. And this reminded me of that. And I went, "Fuck! Wait, wait a minute. Are you the guy that writes? I'm. Uh, wait a minute. Are you the guy? You're ready to snub him for eBay? Aye. <laughs> I'm ready to snub him for two bob. <clears throat> so he's like, ah, uh, "Yeah, I would love them. Um, I'm writing a show about airplane, and I'd really love to put your figure on it." 
Uh, and I was like, oh, fucking hell. So my first two sales, if you like, were from him. Then the third sale was from him. Then the fourth, fifth, sixth. And it just kept going. He's like, ah, you're, te- you're just checking all the boxes. This is exactly what I was looking for. What did I realize? A massive bootleg uh, collector. Hey. So he, all the guys in America, Hi. they're all... Everybody's he's bought one. Everybody's, but he, I think he's got about sixty. I mean, it must be about sixty. <clears throat> must be mind blown for you and all, but that you get somebody like that. That was coming to you, Aye. and then coming back and coming back. Hundred percent. It was it was absolutely crazy. You see, at the time, right before I was making the figures, right, I've done everything. I've mm-hmm. fucking, I literally, I've done everything creatively. Anyway, I've tried to write songs, tried to tailor songs. I've tried to act i've tried to fucking do art try to do graphics try, try to do a lot mm-hmm. photographer as a photographer for a few years and one of the days i do a lot of walking i think it's great for your head right mm-hmm. so i'm out doing this walk and that thing came back to me and the, the, it's really weird because i went this is going to really really work and i kept saying this is going to be right. the best thing that i've done right so i started telling a couple of folk around about me at the time and it was just met with a, you know, a wet nappy, really. Aye. It was like somebody just flinging a fish at you. I think that was due to folk not really grasping the size of the market that's out there for that sort of stuff. Oh, right. Which doesn't really help you either, but no. when you're trying to pitch something to somebody and no. they're just slinging it back at you. And you need that at that time. What Aye. I needed was pure positivity Aye. at that time. I'm not going to go on about the whole positive and negative thing, but at that point, I fucking needed. Did that give you doubts when people were starting to kind of... No, even quotes. What it did for me was, you're going to owe me an apology. Right, okay. I never got that apology. I never never got the apology. The the people at the time, you know, unfortunately, are me in my life now. Mm -hmm. I don't speak to them, you know, but this is purely because I needed fucking, I needed that positivity. It was the one shot. And I just felt like every day around about were were thinking, all right, so you're going to make these, so fuck. So mm. what? So what? Go and do it. Aye. You know? Um, and and what, what do you want me to do? Aye. You know, but one of the, the things was, you're going to end up getting sued. Aye. You're going to go to jail. You're going to this. You're going to that. And I was like, I've already checked into this. Aye. I can make one figure mm-hmm. as a fucking homage, if you like. Aye. And as long as you've done it under a specific sort of parody, I guess, then you're going to be all right. Mm-hmm. Or even if it wasn't, and somebody says, take that down. I'm taking it down. Aye. I'm going to do what Aye. I tell. I'm no a fucking criminal. Do you know Aye. what I mean? Um, I'm going to just do whatever it is that I, that, that I can. Aye. But I, I have a lot of shit, man. A lot of stuff. And all the way through it, um, I was saying to my, my girlfriend that I was going to do this. And I was like, look, I've, and she just, you know, it's like, Aye. that kind of Aye. thing. Aye. 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 Just leave it to you. You, go, you, you do your thing. Aye. Uh, and as, as I said, other people were like, ah, any idea how much this is going to cost you? Mate? Mm-hmm. Like that kind of thing. Aye. It was a money thing. It was either that or it was, you know, but what are you doing this for? And I says, because I know it's going to work. Mm-hmm. I know it's going to work. Oh, fuck off. Well, this mumbo jumbo shite, fucking life after death and all that shite that you fucking believe in. Away you go to fuck. That's what it was. Aye. But I was just like, no, no, I'm telling you it's going to work. And it did. Did you get to a point where you thought this is paid off for me. Aye. Was what was what was that kind of moment for you when you thought, you know what, I'm I'm justified with this. This is this is what I think the first figure. Aye. When it got to the Super Bowl hang, that's when I went, I've done it. I've really fucking made it because it was legit. Aye. That when that happened, the first figure when somebody was like, Oh, I really want this. And Aye. it was of that ilk, it was that character, it was mm-hmm. him. I was thinking, fucking hell, can I go on your show? <laughs> I was like <laughs> Can I, can I, can I be your pal? <laughs> How does that come back? How does the Super Bowl get in touch with you? How does that? Well, they, they sent me, a, it was a scout for the, or no a scout, like a PR mm-hmm. um, lady had got in touch with me uh, just through my store. Just, it was an email that came in. I thought it was a scam, to be really honest. Aye. It just said, you know, we love your figures. We're looking for somebody to create a figure for a well-known person for the Super Bowl 2012. Mm-hmm. Right. So I was like, sometimes you get emails and you maybe take a wee while getting back to them Aye. because you think, 
Is this legit? I don't know what this is. Aye. So I got, I, what I did was I Googled the company. Right. And it turns out it was, it was a legit company. And I just get back to her and I says, look, uh, I don't really know. Why? Mm. You know, I, I would, I'm interested to hear what's Aye. going on. Can you jump on a Zoom call? Right. Um, with some of the people. Look, it's going to be Nissan America. Right. It's going to be uh, some of the heads. They're going to want to speak to you about it and they'll be able to tell you a lot more information. So I went on and there was nine of them, you know, sitting in my house, Clay Bank. Mind blown. Oh, how the fuck did I not clean my house? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, there was pants lying about and all that shit. That's a fucking, that's an old tit lying about. So basically, uh, I, I just was speaking away to them and all that. Is, um, <clears throat> So what is it made of? How can you do it? What's, uh, how long would it take to do 50 of them? Mm -hmm. You know, we need them for this. There is no ifs, there's no buts, that kind of thing. You know, tell me about your background. And, and it was, by the time I came after that call, I had a tan. But a job interview? It was, a fuck, it was an interview, Jeez. right? But what she didn't really tell me that, but it was an interview. Right. And I had to sign a non-disclosure so that I could find out who it was. Right. And it turns out it was Eugene Levy. Right, okay. And they're like, oh, um... This is like a, a version of him that you've never seen before. He's going to have long silver hair. Mm -hmm. He's going to look, he's going to have a kind of Brad Pitt thing going on and he's got leather and it's going to be for our new car. And um, this is our new car, that kind of thing. Uh, but I couldn't, I didn't, I couldn't, they wouldn't tell me anything else until right. I signed my. Ah, uh, uh, right, okay, you're in the and, and I did it. <clears throat> but that was another thing. Then I just went to another walk. <laughs> I knew the walk now, I should have done this. You know, I talk to myself all the time. And um, that's where a lot of the ideas come from. Everybody does it, right? Mm -hmm. But I kind of, I kind of, I kind of fucking it. So I was sitting going, right, should I do this? Should I not do this? Mm. I've got two figures to make. I bet off. Mm. Two figures. Aye. I'm sitting there stressed about two figures. This is a big company. Aye. I need to take his likeness. I need to, we need to apply to a lawyer. We need uh, all these different things. Mm -hmm. There was about 10 different departments right. to go through. All the while, I'm sitting going, yeah, I could be meeting this other figure. No really realising that I am actually doing what I set out aye, today. Aye. It's insane. That's crazy, man. How long did they give you to make them? Three weeks. What's your average time for making a figure? One a day. <laughs> so you've, got, <laughs> you've got 50 to make in three weeks? Fucking Many terrible. years did you spend a day on them? Uh, do you know, when I think about it, I start feeling panicky. But uh, no, I mean... What, what happened was is that I actually it was like realistically it was about all in all maybe two and a half weeks because there was a lot of art issues. Right. I was like, I said, so what's the situation with the art, the, the package? We're getting a company in to do that. Right. But we're going to need you to tell us what it is that we're looking for. And I says, all right, okay, that's that's fine. And I thought, excellent. Right. That's that's a way, that's that's half my right. back because the card art is hard as shit. Right. So I thought, well, great. This is going to be dead easy. Right. He sent me the picture of him. Right. And I was like, that doesn't look like Eugene Levy. Doesn't look like him at all. And it was obviously, and he had the, the bit of the beard going on and stuff. And he had four tattoos. Right. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about it. All we, visible, I take it. Fucking, oh, and we want to see them. And we want to get some, you know, close-ups of those if possible. Oh, man. And I went, all right, okay. I says, you're going to have to send me the tattoos, which I had to then problem solve. So what do you do? How do you do them? Do you just paint them right. and make them look absolutely fucking awful? Or do you um, try and... What I did was I ended up putting them onto like water slide decals. Like, right. You know, you, you print it out and you, you basically wet the paper and it's mm -hmm. like a tiny transfer. All oh, right, okay. 50. It's fucking. And then so, you still get your actual job as well. Everything. Not everything. I've oh, got a Wayne man. who I'm with all the t every day. You know what I mean? And he's stuck to me all the time. Aye. You know, he actually says to me last night, he went, I, I was telling him what was coming on. And I says, uh, he was talking about the, the Eugene Levy thing. And he's like, I, I, I hardly seen you at that point. Mm -hmm. I thought, fucking hell. It was like a bit of a punch in the mouth. But. Um, that's not what happened. He was in the other room and he just kept coming in and you know, shaking me while I'm trying to paint some fucker's eye. You know, I'm like fucking, you know, <laughs> trying to get this eye done. And uh, 
Aye, no, it was it was hard. It was hard going. I was six, five. No, sorry, it was four in the morning, right. all the way through to eight when I started my my main job. Then it was eight o'clock till two. Then it was two o'clock till three. I had to pick him up at school. Then it was three o'clock till about nine at night. Sometimes it was twelve at night, and I burnt myself out to fuck Aye, you've been doing massively. It. Um, fucking massively. It was terrible, <clears throat> but great experience. It's got to say, you, you get to that point, and it's on an advert in the Super Bowl. That's when I saw that, I was amazed. Aye. That's bonkers. I was amazed at that. It was, it was incredible. You know, one of the, the funniest thing to actually come of it is is saying to the um, the woman who was <laughs> the head of the whole thing. <laughs> I said, "Listen, I think he's a motor." <laughs> <laughs> How did that request go to? <laughs> Fucking what a lead balloon. But um I was like, ah, you know you use of you know French fries and all that, you know. You know, like your motors they're, they're kinda like French fries to you. Uh, it's like could you maybe uh, I'll drive your motor run about Clyde Bank for you. Then it didn't happen. <laughs> but she could here, she could have she could have gave us a motor. I know where there's a you know, an Arnold Clark or something like that. Aye, get a wee deal sorted out. deal sorted out. For the amount that I was fucking dane, aye. <clears throat> and did you notice a... Did you get a kind of knock-on effect after that with your figures yeah. that you were doing aye. regularly? Aye. Well, people loved the, the Eugene Levy one, and so I got a lot of people asking me to make it. Right. And I'd signed the non-disclosure to say I wasn't going to do that, and I uh, wouldn't do that. Aye. You're, that's, I would never do that. Aye. There were a bunch of nice people that I was mm -hmm. working with. Aye. Really, really nice. And to actually have slipped through the cracks because that's i mean when i was when i was talking to these people i knew that these people were all very qualified mm -hmm. and i'm sitting here like, oh, cramp you know that's what i felt like Aye. um but i knew that the buck stopped with me right it's all right them all sitting around a table Aye. we'd like this we'd like that um, we'd like his hair to be flowing we'd like you know all this different Aye. stuff and we want the buckles all to be silver <laughs> you know, we want this to be done, we want that to be done, but I, it's all coming to me. Aye, you've got to do it all. When they're telling me that, Aye. I'm feeling this tsunami of Aye. fucking shit coming towards Aye. me. <laughs> you know, you've got to if it's one or two. It's all right if it's one or two, isn't it? You can get away with that. 50. That in three weeks. Mm -hmm. And it all, it was, it was sort of go as a package in a box and they get it like the ones that are must be like the special ones. Ah, right, okay. they, they get it in the car and I saw the package together and I was like, oh, fucking hell, that's brilliant. Right. That's great looking, you know, it's just so cool. Great idea, you know. Mm -hmm. Um but I was it was it was hard going. Did you get to keep one for yourself? I can make as many as I want. Yeah, probably. Right. Probably. <laughs> um, but I the very first one, the very first one that I got that I made, mm -hmm. the um didn't want it. They they, they just went and, and I, it was a, a stress as well. Right. Um, because they just went like that. I had made them slightly smiley. Right. When I was away, and the figures smiled. Aye. They were all smiley. Aye. You know, because they were, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I hadn't fucking seen them yet. Aye, you're I just trying to do it. I hadn't seen the picture of them. Right. So I was just going on what I knew. Mm -hmm. And uh, right away, I went, not that bad. I did have some doubts. You know, I was like, Aye. am I fucking, am I able to do this? Am I able to actually do this? Aye. It would be that because that's a massive and you've got a company like that hitting you with deadlines and requests and you need there to do this, you need to do that and there's no changes, there's nothing. So I kept saying it to myself, like, Mad can I fucking do this? I'm asking my son, he's fucking ten. <laughs> can I do this? Aye. So I went a walk. <laughs> and yeah, that was it. That was it. I just kept saying to myself, You can do it, you can do it. What's the um What's the creative process? Do you just look for kind of random things or do you, is it things for memory or do you just work on what folk ask you for? Um, it takes a while to sharpen that up. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you get a lot of people asking you, could you make this figure for Aye. me? And that's great. I'll just steal that idea, <laughs> which is fine. Um, and you just put, put that out. And a lot of the time, you've got to remember as well, sometimes you make a lot of figures for people and they don't, they don't really want you to put them online. Ah, uh, right, okay. Yeah, they just want you to make Aye. the figure and give me it. You know, Aye. don't don't talk about it to people or whatever. Mm -hmm. And some of these people are pretty important. People. Aye. So um, I respect that, and mm -hmm. I say, right, that's fine. Aye. Still screenshotting your messages, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I need this for me. I suppose as well, but I get that idea, but it's hard for you because you're what a showcase what you're doing. 
but you've got people mm. saying, oh, Jari, you didn't. Yeah, not on this occasion. I put that out there. Aye. Um, a lot of the time that is the problem. But like you say, if you if you do something for people, right? If you do something good for people, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, do it so that I can get something back for it. But a few of those people, one in particular, has come back so many times to me. Mm-hmm. And I, again, I respect that. It's yeah. like, it's dead annoying because it's like, here's, you know, if you like motors, by the way, here's a, here's a Ferrari. You can't get in it. Aye. You know, can't get in that though. Aye. You know, just look at it, just look at it. Then I suppose they'll <clears> see you keep him up your end of the bargain and then that's why they're like, right, I'm going to keep going back to him then because he's, he's, he's done what I asked him to do and he's no put it out there and, I, I mean, there's certain things that you can say, but, you know, I always go with one sort of saying, if you like, and you don't talk outside the family, really. Mm-hmm. And I know that sounds fucking, sounds pathetic, but you don't, you don't, you don't give people's, people, whatever they're into, you know, that's fine. You know, mm-hmm. there are people that I can tell you about, which is fine, but there are people that I just can't, you know, just fucking, it's just not. Aye. I wouldn't like them saying things about me, you know. No, 100%. <clears throat> what about... The ones that you can share, what's yeah. the kind of people like that have that have came to you for? I know Lee Francis mm-hmm. has has been into you for different things, but wh- who else is? Well, is actually, in in the UK anyway, it started with Andy Goldstein, right? And run about December Talk time. Sport. Talk sport, mm-hmm. fucking gem, absolute gem, just dead nice guy, dead down to earth, mm-hmm. really down to earth, and he's just like, all right, how you doing? Uh, could you make this figure? Turns out it was a figure of him. Which was fine, uh, but from there, there was all these people that just started following me because he, he'd shared it. <clears throat> no, what happened was is I'd made a Larry David figure, which right. he obviously loves Larry David, mm-hmm. and, and he bought the Larry David, right. and he just says, uh, "Oh, would you be able to make a figure of, of me?" And I went, "Aye." He just went from there and he put that on his Instagram. Right. Thank you. He put it on, and uh, all these people just came on board. That's where like Ollie Mars came from. Uh, Lee Francis, mm-hmm. he'd sent me a message just saying, love the figures, you know, just like salute kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I just started talking to him for there. Um, he mentioned Lost Boys, and he might as well have just said, going to give me that Lost Boys figure. <laughs> but I just said, ah, here, here you go. Um, there, there, there it is. And I just, I sent it to him, and I was fucking blown away because one of my pals had sent me a message, and he went, mate, look at this. I'm not on Twitter that much. Aye. And, uh, He's like this, and Lee Francis or Keith Lemon, whatever you want to call him, had made this fucking video about it. Aye. How much would that cost for somebody like him? Aye. So I was like, ah, oh man, I was fucking so thankful when he done that. So a lot of followers came mm-hmm. on board. And I suppose you're weighing it up because you're you're sending them something. But then I suppose it's the advertising that you're getting off the other side of it and putting out the video and you're getting potential customers on it off the back of the... 100%, you know, it, it really just, that's where it kind of all started in the UK sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you just got lots and lots of people that are interested in it as right. well. And just sometimes it's good. You just get messages all the time for people right. just saying, oh, how would you do this? And how do you go? Like, ah, I see myself in them. Mm-hmm. So I sit and tell them, you know, um, right. a lot of these people aren't going to make figures or anything like that. Right. But it's nice to know how, how to do it. Yeah. Um, but I know he was, he was, he was a gem. They are, they're all really nice people. Anybody that, you know, and they make it as if you don't, you wouldn't really know who they were. Aye. Well, by the way, oh, I've got this friend who's, you know, uh, maybe want to send you a message um, if that would be all right. Her name's mm. Natalie. I was like, all right, I need bother. Aye, she's for all saints. <laughs> as if you're not going to know. <laughs> I'm like, ah, well, well, take me to the beach. You know that? And, uh, you know, never ever. And it turns out it was, so she got did some stuff for her. Just a dead nice woman as well. And Liam Howell, obviously, just fucking right. a genius. Spoke to them on the phone and all that, man. Just amazing stuff. That's wild. Man, amazing stuff. Wild. What about, um, do you get a lot for the US? Tons. That's right. that's predominantly where the market is, you know. Mm-hmm. That's really where everything, where, where I'm most prominent, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Again, it's right down to the ideals. It's like the the Ghostbusters multiverse right. one um, is popular. Uh, I knew I knew that would be it would be popular for me mm-hmm. because it's like all oh, the characters that were meant to be in it. Right. So 
when you use the word multiverse, mm-hmm. it starts to really be dead interesting. Right. And there's obviously another character that's the, that's to come, but the Dan Aykroyd Ray stance mm-hmm. was always he was always in it because he wrote it. Aye. So that was one more to, to to come. Well, it's two more. Um, so it's it's dead interesting, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but America is really where where it's. Where it's at. No, I don't no, have the same yes. mentality. The other figure makers have got a totally different mindset from me that way. Right, they are their fingers right on the pulse. Mm-hmm. When Will Smith get you know the, the, mm-hmm. the slap, a figure came out straight away. Right. <clears throat> I wouldn't think of stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not really interested in stuff like Aye. that to be really honest mm-hmm. um i love it i do think it's really cool but you know it's no i would think about straight Aye. away i'd mm-hmm. be thinking about john belushi as peter Brinkman. i'd be thinking about john candy mm-hmm. as fucking lewis tully you know? that's what i'm thinking uh but i i mean all these all these people are, are great and like i say america is if it wasn't for america um i don't think i would be i'd be doing it right how do you combine it with work because it obviously must take a lot of time to make the figures and the concentration that you need yeah. to do it. And you've obviously got the wee man as well. How Aye. do you balance it all? Just different hats. Aye. Just different hats. When I'm in work, that's it. But I find myself veering away and thinking about what I could make next. But mm-hmm. I park it all. I'm, I'm sharp with it on Aye. it. In the beginning, it was like a fucking... I didn't know what I was doing. Aye. You know, a lot of the time I was all over the place. Because mm-hmm. I was thinking, oh, maybe I could... Uh, you know, do this idea and I'll write this down. I just don't do that now. I go mm. walks. Walker. Do you find it's took or it's taken far more of your time now than it was Aye. at the start? I'm quicker at it now. Aye. I'm quicker now Aye. because I can if an idea's there and if it's gonna be put it this way, if I'm excited about it, I know that it's gonna be all right. Mm-hmm. But if Aye. I'm kinda like you know, you will get people who will ask you to make a figure. And the big thing for me is the photo, because when you you're not going to open this figure, right? Yeah. But what are you going to open it for? Aye. I, I tell you, the guy guy recently, I made the Predator double pack, right? Mm-hmm. Which is Carl Weathers and Arnold Schwarzenegger at the start of the day. The you know the 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 famous hand slap. Mm-hmm. And this guy says to me, "Apologies, by the way, but it's a fucking ridiculous comment." He <laughs> said to me, uh, "How come you didn't put any uh, magnets in their hands?" You know, like, Aye. I was like, what the fuck when I did that for, mate? He's like, ah, because toys are meant to be played with. You're, you, you've got me all rang. You've got me completely fucking rang. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do to him in the fucking bath? <laughs> Give me that Batman boat. I'm going to put fucking Carl Weathers on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please don't send me any fucking messages. <laughs> Honestly, man. What's the best figure you've done? Is there ones that stick out in your mind? When you get an idea and you're like, this has got to be brilliant. Or uh, when somebody gives you a request. Yeah. Sometimes if the uh, <laughs> the one, the, the two, one of them is Lovejoy. Oh, man. That's so random. <laughs> it still warms my heart. <laughs> Such a fucking crazy figure today, but I loved it. And uh, Pat Butcher. Which that is picture. just oh, man. that's the most likes I've ever had on a, a photo. Aye. Oh, by far. It's like eight hundred or something like that. Yeah, I know that's chump change to what the guys in America get, but uh that was very successful for me. Such a bizarre request on one. Pans and pans. And then you've got obviously in the background there I'm gonna make a Frank Lanklin a hefty. Mm. But I wouldn't have thought of that. Aye. And such a great idea. And I, I put it out and I only made one. I only made that one for her, for him. You must get that sometimes <laughs> where somebody comes in with an idea and you're like, fuck sake, man, I need, never even thought of that. That's right. Aye. And then it's the domino effect aye. off the back yet. I get that and all. Aye. Oh, the Ghostbusters multiverse. How the fuck did I know? Think aye. of that. Or Eric Stoltz from aye. Back to the Future, which I made as Marty McFly. Aye. How did I know? Fucking. <laughs> but here's the thing. There's a big thing about this in the community, right? Mm-hmm. Which I hate. I just fucking, it's, I'm not interested in all that shit. See if you want to make a figure, make it. See if I've made it the day before. I don't give a shit. Mm. Just make it. It's Aye. your art. Aye. It's no my art. It's no, oh, he's copied him. Aye. Fuck that. Aye. Wait a couple of days and then just do it. Aye. Just make it. If it's your art, it's your art. It's not going to look like mine. And mine's not going to look like yours. Well, it's going to be individual in its own way, isn't it? Of course it is. What about... 
people that have got in touch with you when you've done a figure of them, mm-hmm. good or bad, how has that feedback been? Um, I mean, Eugene Levy was just a thumbs up, really. You know, he said the typical thing, it's my smallest role to date, <laughs> which is just fucking great, you know? <laughs> you get, I mean, it's always met with a good response, let's say. Ah, uh, there's always a decent... There's always a, oh, I'm going to get this done for my cousin. I'm going to get this done for such and such. Mm-hmm. And it just it's got a bit of an knock-on effect. It's a unique gift. Mm-hmm. It really is. It's such a... I always thought, when I was walking to school as a kid, I always thought how amazing it would be. And it's probably a deep thinker I was. But I was thinking, how great would it be to have figures at ev- parts of your life, various parts of your life? My older brother was a runner. He was brilliant at sprinting. How would it be great to have an action figure of him in his running gear? Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. Aye. And that, see that one thought? Aye. It was all, all the answers for me were in the past. They were all sitting there ready for me to to try and just to, to, do, to do it. And Aye. I'm not alone, obviously, mm-hmm. but my story is quite unique that way Aye. because I don't care about putting it out there and getting fucking love for it. Aye. I really don't. Aye. For me, it was to make a figure of my brother who fucking tragically died mm-hmm. and make it for him. Aye. That's what it was. And that's why I shout about him. Because if it wasn't for him, I would not have done it. Aye. He's the one that gave me the belief to do mm-hmm. anything creatively. Aye. And he could do it with such fucking ease. Just natural. He was just so able to do these things, Aye. you know. And I know that if he was here, Aye. and I'm not just saying this, he'd be so much better. He would be like that. Oh, that's brilliant. That's fucking. And he was one of the guys that could tell you that he loved you. Aye. Right? He didn't. He? But I knew he did. Aye. And I knew that he would tell me that if, Aye. if it, like, the older we got, I think he'd probably, right? Mm-hmm. But he would, I, I learned to play the guitar, right? Stephen was a drummer all the way through his life, all the way through his life, fucking syncopation. He was brilliant at it, mm-hmm. right? And then I, I learned to play the guitar and about three weeks later, he was learning to play the guitar and he learned quicker than Aye. me. I'm sitting there going like, just wait to see this, I can do this. And he's like, oh, you mean like this? <laughs> One of the guys, Aye. so... I know I didn't even know what paint to use. I didn't even know how to sharpen a brush. I didn't even know what brushes to buy. Aye. I didn't even know what card to use. I didn't even know how you stick. I didn't even know anything. Mm-hmm. But he instinctively would have fucking been able to help Aye. me, faster, you know. Um, but he would be able to paint things and be able to. His figure would his figures would be great. But he just wouldn't have the patience. Aye. He would day one and go. Oh, you have it now. Aye. You, know, you crack on with the rest. Move on to fucking light bulbs or something like that. You know. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> any um, any characters out there you haven't done yet that you really want to have a go at? Yeah, I there's. I mean, I want to do the 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 rest of these Ghostbusters ones. I want to do, um, but I want to make anything to be honest. Mm-hmm. I mean, now that the more sort of odd and unusual, the better. Mm-hmm. But there's a you know people don't realise that you can put trash out. Aye. You can put shit out there Aye. just to get some likes. Aye. I can't tell you how much I hate that. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to do all that shit. Aye. There's lots of characters. <clears throat> I made Eddie Hearn, right? A promoter, right. boxing promoter. That was another one. It was Coogan Cassius that got it to him, the guy that does IFL TV, which I love, love the boxing, right? He got it to him and he gave it to him live on one of his uh, things. And it was just met with, I knew it would be. Mm-hmm. They just wasn't interested at all. Right. I think he was maybe thinking that I was like, uh, you know, poking at him. You know, ah, right, okay. I wasn't. Aye. Aye. You know, so, I suppose in a lot of ways you can think it's maybe a bit tacky. Fucking oh, shit. Aye. You know, that kind of thing. Aye. You can have that. Mm-hmm. But I'm not trying to do that. It's just like, here you go. A lot of the time, I'll see myself in the figures that I'm giving to people or mm. making. I'll see a bit of myself or I'll see a wee memory. I'll go, oh. Man, we would have loved that. Aye. And that's really what it is. Aye. You know, it comes from... My, my brother, see, see when the A-team came out, right? Mm-hmm. It was such a fucking... Aye. My God, it was so incredible. But the figures came out, and Stephen had said to me, my brother, he went, by the way, they've got them doing in the British home stores. Mm-hmm. VHS. I went, have they? He's like, aye. I went, really? He's like, yep. He was lying. Right. <laughs> so anyway, we managed to get down to the shopping center and got to the front door and all the way right up to the back. No fucking figures. 
but this woman was coming out of the, the sort of storeroom she went like that to his she went can i help you and he went, where's the a-team figures and she went oh they're actually in the back they're not right. coming out till a week on saturday right and he's like ah, can i see them <laughs> and she went no I went, can i see them and then she's like no you're gonna have to wait that was a long fucking week and a half <laughs> That Saturday went right down, bust in the doors at nine o'clock. <laughs> no fucking money to buy them. <laughs> all the way up to the back and we're all sitting there. All, ex- all of them, except Mr. T. Just mm. couldn't get them. They dressed them with fucking Hannibal Smith. They had Amy Allen, who's worth a fucking fortune. Now. I had her, I know. Aye. I sold her. Because I was fucking leaving. I had no fucking house. How much is it worth now? <clears throat> I think it's like 400. Jeez. Something like that. Yeah, I've seen them on eBay going for... You know, but I had some great, I had lots of great, great figures. Mm-hmm. And I just ended up, I had all the A-team, all of them in the packs, pristine. And uh, I ended up having to sell them. I was fucking homeless. Jeez. That is insane. That is insane. Yeah, it's a crazy story, man. What's, um, what's the hardest piece you've done? I think the most challenging is probably the... Because of the magnitude is the, you know, uh, Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. The one I did for Ollie Mills was really hard. Right. It was his soon-to-be uh, wife. Right. And she does like, uh, bikini modeling and bodybuilding mm-hmm. stuff. And it was very, very challenging. Right. Because she'd uh, get a big cape on and all that. And uh, like sparkles yeah, okay. and the card... I mean, I gave myself more work for that one because I, I wanted the card to have a kind of shine. Mm-hmm. So I had to get this specific paper and I had to cut it in a way that it doesn't crack and all that stuff. So I've done that. Um, that was a challenging one. There's Aye. been... Uh, mate, oi them. Aye, they'll get their own challenges, oh, I suppose. Oi them. They've all got... I must be pretty good at problem solving now, right? Aye. Because the amount of problems that you have, and you go, mm, how do I do that? His head's too wee. Mm-hmm. That doesn't look right there, or his arm doesn't look right. That doesn't bend properly, or oh, I mean, the one I did, I did the shining figures of her in the, you know, the, the bit where he walks into the, the hotel room, mm-hmm. and the lassie opens up the. And it's this beautiful looking woman, and obviously she turns into an old woman. Right. And that was really challenging, because right. it's like a one off kind of thing. Right. You bend parts of it. It was, it was hard, but they're all they're all that man. They're all really hard. None of them are easy, unfortunately. You know what I'm going to ask you here? Yeah. What's the What's the plans with it? Because you could you could have a shop or something. You could do something like that if you wanted to, but is there a reason you haven't done or do you want to see how far it goes and combining it with your job or what what's the kinda what's the hopes for you? Well, like you say, right, I had this wasn't really the dream. Right. Right? Right. It was everything else that came before it. Mm-hmm. The really hard things. Right. That sounds fucking, that sounds terrible, right? But this has been the easiest thing that I've done. Mm-hmm. I've done really difficult things. Right. I've tried to write fucking music. Right. That's really hard today. It's difficult, especially for people in the street to go, I like that wee song, mate. Right. right? And that's really what your, that's what your audience is. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't really the dream to, to have that. You right. know, I would... It would be nice. It would mm-hmm. be nice to have a wee shop. No, no, it would be. But I was thinking about it. It would be just a retro shop. Aye. Figures in it that you would buy, like if you were to get all the old A-team stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. It'd be a lot of money. No. You know, something community-wise, I'd quite like the idea of. Mm-hmm. I like the idea of maybe helping, I don't know, like, no, not so much school, but I would just, people that would, come to you and say, I would really love to make my granddaughter or something like that. Aye. Or, Aye. And help people a wee bit. Because mm-hmm. like I say, that's a big, big thing. I don't understand why people don't help people. Aye. I, I'm, that's the sh- most shocking thing for me. Mm-hmm. I don't understand it. Just fucking help people. Aye. See if there's any glimmer of something with someone. Mm-hmm. Don't just brush by it. Aye. You know, and... and I don't know, just, just try and do stuff for people. Um, it, big or small, it doesn't really matter to me. I always do that. You know, mm-hmm. you find yourself getting taken out of an L at the time. Aye. But so what? As long as you're no Aye. bit of poke it or, Aye. you know. Um, but I really don't know. I mean, I'm skirting around it, but I don't know. I'd, I'd love to do, there's, there's many things that I would like to do. I'd mm-hmm. love to have a song somewhere playing in the back of fucking River City or somewhere. Aye. You know, 
saw that angle. Oh. Well, that was me. That was me down there, yeah. I don't want to be fucking James Bond, you know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck. I'm quite happy to, like, you know, I'd love to walk out of the bar at fucking East Enders or something. Like the guy in the back. Your Pat and Frank figures? Aye. <laughs> Aye, selling them. Aye. Good idea. <laughs> fucking great idea. Get, get a stall. Oh, that would be tremendous. Yeah, be excellent. Have you made a dot cotton one? Surely somebody's asked for a dot cotton oh, one. Oh, that's a great one, eh, Dave? Nobody's asked for that yet. I need to make oil them, man, do you? I? I, you need to make oil them. I mean, come on. So many good characters for that era. For that era, Den. You know, I know that Den's a Aye. bit. We can't really do so much with Den Aye. anymore because he really was not he? <laughs> um, but he would be, uh, he would be one. Because uh, obviously you've got him and um, the wife and they were really, oh. it was such a big thing at the time, Aye. wasn't it? It was so, so big. The dog as well. I, uh, Rolly or Roll or something? Aye. Or? Roland. Roland. Roland, aye. I was thinking of Grange Hill. Roland. Samo. Samo for Grange Hill. Been another one. It's another one. I'm not that big or small enough. <laughs> Problem solving that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's fucking, it's just a constant, how do you do this? Aye. I don't want his hands open. I want them, I want them closed. I want, how do I make a boxing glove? You know. So many different things. There's just so many variables, um, but it's it, like I say, it is it is a really good thing to, today. It's it saved me from a lot of, you know, it's vindicated me a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a strong word, but it's it, I think it, it has. It's really helped me mm -hmm. because I thought I was doing everything and I was shit at it. Right. I was thinking, man, here, right, I'm pouring a lot of time into creativity because it's my best pal. Right. It really is your best pal. There's nothing like being able to do something creative, anything that you've that's out with the norm, out with going to your going to the pub with your pals. Mm -hmm. I just I, I'm I just I'm always going all the time, so I feel like I'm wasting time. Right. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but I, I feel that I'm wasting time, and I, I should get something, but an output. It's really Aye. strong at the moment. Aye. It's just really it's everything. You know, it's right out there. I want to make wee videos. I want to do wee, you know, I joined fucking TikTok the other week. Christ. Big market, but aye, aye. I just want to change things a wee bit. Aye. Um, but again, the figure thing was it's it's been a good vindication for me. It's been a good, you know, you're all, you're no that bad. You know, you're no shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. So it's a Glasgow hang. I know. It's a Glasgow hang. You're no shit at it. <laughs> I came to see your play. It wasn't shite. <laughs> I was expecting it to be pure shite, but it wasn't. There you are. <laughs> what about MD that wants to get into it? Be it a young kid, be it somebody <laughs> school leaving age that has, has got that creative side and maybe isn't so much on the academic side because I've spoke to so many people that are like that. Yeah. What advice would you give somebody that wants to maybe try and get into like making figures and different bits like that from your experience? From my experience, um, just start looking up bootleg action figures. No, right. it's everywhere now. No, right. there's no so many in the the UK. I know two, mm -hmm. two, and um, but it's not so popular in in the UK that way. But all you need to do is search for bootleg action figures, right. and it will come up. It will actually show you how to do it step by step. Right. A lot of the time, now I, I do molding and casting so I can make copies of them, mm -hmm. but you can just take parts from figures and just glue them together or get the wee bits together and start making your own character. Right. So as a kid, I'd be thinking about trying to buy parts mm -hmm. from eBay, which aren't cheap, right. right? And I've got a mountain of shit in the house. My house looks like a fucking factory, mm -hmm. right? Let's get fucking drawers full of heats. That's a strange thing to say. <laughs> it's toy heads, right? <laughs> so you've got all that kind of stuff and you can just put all the all the stuff together and just go for it. Aye. Just think about it. If there's somebody in a suit, just get a suit. Aye. Suit it. You get some arms. and Or even just take a figure and just repaint it. Try mm. and repaint it. It doesn't matter if it looks like them or not. Aye. You can see that. That's got a big thing for me as well. The likeness. There's a likeness war going on. Mm -hmm. People think that you need to make them look really like the figure. Aye. I don't subscribe to that right. because I keep saying the same thing. I'm, I, it's, I'm getting bored saying it, but basically what it is is that when I was a kid, when Star Wars came out, because that's what the boom was, Star mm -hmm. Wars came right out, 12 figures came out. We couldn't get them. 
obviously mm -hmm. here but we ended up getting them in like 82 or something like 83 the, the first 12. Aye. Luke Skywalker didn't he look like Luke Skywalker mm -hmm. but I believed that he was Luke Skywalker oh, right, okay. that's where the magic is Aye. for me you believe that mm -hmm. that's you know I got a fucking another shitty comment the other day a guy said I know but back then artists weren't as good as what they are now that's horse shit right that's horse pucky. wait insulting aye what about the fucking sistine chapel <laughs> but who are you, who are you talking to? you know what do you mean aye the fucking what are you talking about the point is is it should be nice and simple aye and you believe that it's like that's the magic that's the bit that i'm trying to capture it's mm -hmm. selfish as fuck aye. but all it is for me mm -hmm. is standing with my brother going check it out hey that's Aye. all it is you start nostalgia see if people like it great mm -hmm. see if people get a lot of it and they really appreciate it and they, they cherish it and stuff that's my dad or mm -hmm. that's my mum or whatever great great but i'm really just sitting thinking about me and him hey that and that's the truth so the mars big gear shit otherwise mm -hmm. but it's nice that it's been recognized and mm -hmm tv and all that you know it's great it's really it's really been a great thing and i have pulled back it a lot from from doing that but i think fuck it i'm just going to do it you know and i'm just uh, like even at the moment i just be myself totally because mm -hmm. i've i've kind of tried to represent myself a bit better i couldn't give a fuck anymore right i'm just going to keep doing it and that's it see what's comfortable for you aye and whatever else comes for it if nothing comes for it then fine you know it's like I set out knowing that it was going to succeed. I right. knew for me, it sounds dead big here, I don't mean it to, but I just thought this is going to work. Mm -hmm. I don't, it doesn't matter at what scale it reaches, mm -hmm. it's going to really work. Right. And I'm fucking going to make sure that it works. And it did. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean, it's like I, I keep saying to everybody, look, just get yourself out there and do something. Mm -hmm. Even like stuff with podcasts, you know, how popular this is at, right. at the moment. And you know fair enough it might not not be everybody's taste and they might not sit and fucking religiously watch things all the way through or whatever but people's people's life is 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 important you know right. and you know you can see the reflection in yourself stop being so selfish and think about other people you know i'm gonna wear rant sorry not at all mate this has been brilliant mm -hmm. it's um it has been a success as you're saying obviously you've, you've done it for really personal reasons and that probably comes out in the work that you put out as well um and i'm but i can't wait to see what you're gonna do in the future mm, look forward to i'll be doing for the opening day this this big <laughs> goldberg's type superstore that opens <laughs> to other figures Goldbergs, man. <laughs> it's been class mate thank you thanks very much pal cheers bud cheers